Here we have a 2013 Nissan Pathfinder from a used car lot. They had just replaced the transmission. Yes, this full-size SUV in that year came with a CVT transmission. So, of course, it failed like all other CVT transmissions from Nissan. This one came directly from Nissan, so it has all the warranty papers. And they towed it into the shop to get it programmed. So I plug in my Nissan scanner and start a diagnostic session to see what is the procedure, how to program it. Normally you have to go on by online, look up the part numbers, and program it according to uh, the file that's in there. But this one is a little bit different. This CVT has a serial number sticker on the actual transmission. So let's try to zoom in with the camera and see, there it is, NY24157. That is the serial number with this transmission. So I'm going to start a diagnostic session and let me read out the codes and see what's going on. The CVT transmission itself came complete filled with the fluid and the warranty and it was a simple install. You didn't have to add anything. The control module for the transmission is actually external. So normally you would not need any programming other than resetting the adoptions. So now I'm identifying the VIN number, the vehicle, and I'm going to do a complete diagnostic to see what other codes are in this car. One of the items that the used car dealer dropped off that came with this CVT transmission is a CD, an actual CD that came as part of it. So I suspect that this CD has the information to program this transmission. So I got out some dusty DVD player that I had laying around the shop, dusted it off, plugged it in. It's a little beat up, but it works. And I plugged it into the laptop just in case I will need it. You always have to work with the latest software, regardless of what year, make, model you do. Uh, Nissan software is now live online and requires logins to do a lot of the procedures so here is the codes most of them are passed but there's a there's a current code for inspection so let me try to go into the transmission itself and see what i can clear and what i have to do let me go to work support and see what options i have one of the things I see right off the start is the right IP characteristic replacement ATCVT. So let me click on that. This one came from Jetco, which is the manufacturer, the Japanese manufacturer of the CVT transmissions. Nissan has a lot of tricky ways to doing their software. It's usually not easy. Most of the software that you purchase online is confusing. It has a lot of part numbers, a lot of options. You have to extract it in a different file and place it in specific programming files. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So let's see what they did with this one. The DVD reads out. I can click on it. It identifies. But let me first see start and see what it takes me. So now it tells me that it's going to look for the IP characteristic file data. I'm going to click OK and it actually opens up a folder which allows you to tell me to tell the computer where that file is located. So without taking it off the DVD and storing it and extracting it, let me just go directly to the DVD and see if that's going to work. So here I identify the folder, and that's the serial number, the same one I read out on the transmission, and the DVD player. So let me click open and see what happens. So to my surprise, it identified it right away and it, it read out that serial number. So I'm hitting on next, and here is where the Nissan engineers just can't help themselves. They put in a little 
a little deviation of normal. You have to put the ignition key on, put it in reverse, and hold the gas pedal half accelerated in order to go next. So of course I didn't do it, and it sure enough it failed. So let me try it again. Let me go through the same process, find the DVD, find the file, and now I'm ready to put it in reverse. I don't know why they did that. I, maybe their intention was that the technician should pay attention before they do it. I'm not really sure. But Nissan engineers always put in some little wrench into their software. So here we're going to try this again. Now I'm ready for them. Click open. And it reads it out really quickly. And it finds the serial number. Uh, yeah, that's my broken down DVD player that I never thought I would ever need it again. And now I'm going to position myself that I can put it in reverse and hold the accelerator half down and go to next. And let's see what happens. And when you go to Mitchell or All Data or the service manuals from Nissan, they printed it into their service manuals as well. So let me turn the key on and put the shifter in reverse. Move the key out of the way and hold the accelerator pedal halfway down. And I'm going to try to reach over to my laptop and hit the next button and see what happens. I don't know why they did this. I, I don't know why they're playing head games. Nissan is just one of those companies. So now I'm hitting next. It tells me to put the key on. And it looks like I don't get that error message. It's actually going forward. So now it wants me to turn the key off and turn it back on. So I'm following all the instructions. But of course, it failed again. It reads out the... Uh, and now when I go to write, executing, and it failed again. And the reason is because I didn't shift it back into park and let go of the accelerator. So with it in reverse, it won't program. So, and that's not in the instructions to put it back to park. So let me try this one more time. Nothing failed. Nothing was damaged. We're just going to go through this again. And now I could do it a little faster. I'm already expecting and I'm getting ready to press it in. Nissan has had so many failures with their transmissions that they actually sell you a brand new transmission in a box for a Nissan Sentra CVT for $1,500, including the fluid ready to install. And this is why you can't buy anything from Cardone. You can't buy anything from Advance Auto. You can't buy anything from LKQ because obviously this information inside this transmission, whatever this solenoid packs that they put in for the variable transmission to work smoothly needs to be written into the computer. And the only way to make that happen perfectly smooth is by knowing the characteristic of the ohms and the resistance of each solenoid inside this, this transmission. So, if you just throw in a new CVT that you get from LKQ, they're announcing now they have remand transmissions. And if you're not going to reprogram the characteristic of each thing and put it in there, the transmission will shorten its life, give you harsh shifting. This is why all of here, complete, boom. Once you follow the instructions, it now wrote in the characteristic of this transmission into the engine computer. Now I'm going to test drive the car and it's perfect and it's ready to go on the road. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. I'm going to do another diagnostic to make sure that there's no other codes into the system. But this is why I believe that you have to get factory stuff from the dealer to replace these transmissions. All of these outsourced parts that promise you everything is a waste of your time. In addition to that, if you put in a junkyard one or aftermarket or auto parts one or a car done, there's no way for me to program it with the factory software. And that will shorten the life, if anything. Most of these transmissions 
will not work. Here we are. We'll reset all the codes. Everything is cleared. I'm going to go do a diagnostic on the engine and the rest of the stuff. But this car is done and ready to be delivered to the customer. Hopefully this was informative. I know this is a 2013 with 130,000 miles. I'm not sure how many are out there. But this CVT programming is probably going to be the new procedure. It's nice that you don't have to go out and buy additional software from Nissan to program it. That they ship it with the transmission and make it at least easier to get it set up and programmed. Thank you for watching. Jack Short.